Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amanda, and you know what? I have added some items to my closet. I've shopped a little bit. I've been given some stuff from my mom. That's very kind of you, thank you so much. <laughs> and since I'm pretty excited about all of these things, I thought I would talk you through the new additions to my closet. Guys, you ready? Let's go. So let's start with clothing and move our way towards the accessory part of this. Haul, I guess, is this a haul? New additions in my wardrobe, haul, you know. But let's start with the clothing. And the first item you've for sure already seen on my channel. I wore it in my little vlog where me and my friends thrifted outfits for each other. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. It was a great time. I had so much fun. <laughs> I think my friends had fun too, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you did. <laughs> But essentially, this little linen shirt, it's 100% linen. It's basically a men's shirt. So for me, it fits a little bit oversized, but that's how I like my linen shirts, essentially. The brand is Morris. It's basically one of those things that I know in the summer, I always wear oversized linen shirts. So I didn't really take a risk when buying this one because it's already kind of a proven concept in my closet, if you get what I'm saying. So first item, blue linen shirt already worn it loving it so much let's move on to the next item the next clothing item is something that I got from my mom actually originally I bought this one for her but it turned out she thinks that it's a little bit too short and it's uh, essentially not her color palette so no taken don't buy stuff for your mom that she may think is too short and that doesn't suit her color wise but I thought this looked great on her when she wore it but now she basically gave it back to me. <laughs> so that's a little bit embarrassing. I mean, it's essentially a little Diane von Furstenberg dress. Who else has kind of forgotten about Diane von Furstenberg for a little moment? I still do think Diane makes great dresses. And I mean, essentially this one is no exception. Basically it's 100% silk. I think this dress is gorgeous. I mean, holding it up like this doesn't do it justice, but I mean, please refer to the cutaways. And this is for sure something I'm gonna wear throughout the summer season. But equally, I think you can wear it like in fall and stuff as well if you just put some stockings on and just like like a pair of great boots and I think obviously a pair of Stuart Weitzman boots because Stuart Weitzman boots are alive. They're everything. So I'm sure you'll see this dress paired in a few different ways, but this is the next thing new in my wardrobe and I'm so happy to have it back. So thanks mom for giving it back to me. <laughs> I'm getting so warm, like literally. Apologies for the lack of an outfit today, but it's just too warm and I'm Swedish and I'm not used to warmth and it's like 30 degrees. So. Apologies, you're just gonna have to bear with me. The next item I actually thrifted and I think this is such a great thrift find. Basically, it's just a white t-shirt. It fits me great, I think at least. But do you know what's so cool about it? I mean, I bought this for eight euros. Like what? I thrifted a Fendi shirt for eight euros. <laughs> Like, go me, I'm winning at life. Like, look at these cute little red elbow patches on this 100% linen t-shirt. Like, does it get better than this? I think I peaked in life. I thrifted a Fendi shirt for eight euros. <laughs> I think you can never go wrong with a white linen shirt. I think it's just so cute. So this is my next addition to my wardrobe that I've done recently. Let's move on to the next thing. The next thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's from this Danish brand, Ilse Jakobsen. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how we pronounce it here on my Seedler Aesthetic channel. But essentially it's a Danish brand. It's in the size medium. And it's just this gorgeous like long summer dress. It's basically floor length. It's in this white, blue, green pattern. It has this little tie thing in your waist and it's just this like silky floor length dress. I'm envisioning this like on a hot summer day. We're like in roads or whatever. We're going out for a cute little lunch and it's kind of breezy, but it's still very warm. So we need to keep ourselves cool, calm and collected. And what we're putting on is this dress and some like cute little ballerina flats and a cute little bag, you know, just enjoying life. And this is my enjoying summer life dress. <laughs> you know, when you've moved out 
out from your parents' house and you've left a few things at their house just to wear in case you have nothing to wear when you visit them. This shirt is one of those things that are just left. But in all honesty, I mean, <laughs> when I was visiting my parents now this past week, I wore this a lot and I was like, wow, I want to bring this home with me and wear it at home because I think this, this shirt is basically my style at the moment. It's so cute. It's so casual. It's basically this Tommy Hilfiger. I'm not the biggest fan of this like Hilfiger text, which is probably why I left it. But equally, I think this is just like the epitome of my style. And I've had it for so long. The little Hilfiger tag is kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of like left the building, but I mean, I need to just put a little stitch there and then we're still fine. It's in the size medium. It has basically this little kind of like shirt, like cotton material collar, and then it's just a knitted fabric all over, which is also cotton. I kind of like just like classic, easy to throw on little long sleeve shirt. And I've just been loving it with like my Sebago sailing shoes, a pair of blue jeans, and just living that kind of like boaty kind of like Ralph Lauren classic coastal grandma kind of aesthetic, right? And maybe staying on the Hilfiger train for a little moment because my mom gave me this little kind of like shirt dress type thing. And this also to me feels a little bit like that. Why am I so obsessed with coastal grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Can I just not move on from the coastal grandma aesthetic already? But I feel like this matches the kind of coastal grandma kind of like cute little boaty kind of coastal aesthetic. It doesn't have to be a grandma, but it can just be like boaty and coastal, right? Just like that vlog I just posted like a few weeks ago. No, a few days ago. How long? I don't know. And I feel like this dress with my Sebago shoes would have fitted that weekend perfectly. I like throw on a little like red YSL bag. Like how cute. We love a good sailor chic aesthetic outfit. And I feel like this dress just embodies that very well. And I mean, it's very classic. It's very timeless. It's very chic. All of the things that I resonate with in my style. So I'm just looking forward to wearing this one. So cool. Let's move on to the next thing. Another thing I thrifted, actually. I was in Stockholm at this like cute little like well curated secondhand shop. And I found this little like super cute crop top. Look at this crop top. This is kind of like outside of my comfort zone. I'm not gonna lie. It's not like timeless classic sailor aesthetic. It's kind of like, I don't know, cute little like Gen Z type aesthetic. I'm not sure if that's representative of Gen Z. And if it isn't, I'm sorry, but I'm a millennial, so... <laughs> Cut me some slack. But essentially, I think this is just so cute. I don't know the brand, actually. I thrifted it for 125 Swedish crowns, which is basically 12 euros. Like, ribbed. Is that the thing? What is this? Is this sheared? Is this ribbed? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm excited to wear it. <laughs> I couldn't just leave it there because it was too cute. So let's see how well me and this shirt get on. But for the time being, I'm so excited about this little cutie. Shirt appreciation moment over. The last clothing item. I was so thrilled to find this. It's another Swedish brand, actually. Maybe I should make a video about my favorite Swedish brands. Is that interesting to anyone? I think there are a lot of Swedish brands that people don't talk about. I mean, we all know Acne exists, for example, that brand people talk about. But we have so many other good brands, like this brand, for example. I found this Hette Marks is the brand, which is basically... Wait, should I tell you what this is? This is a Hittamax fall kind of wool coat in like a peacoat style. So cute, so classic, so timeless. And this brand, Hetemax, is basically one of those brands that makes like coats, great jacket, great like outerwear type stuff. And I think this is one of those brands that a lot of old people in Sweden wear. <laughs> and me, of course, because I like that old person aesthetic, coastal grandma, can we get over it already? <laughs> but essentially, this brand is just one of those like heritage, like Swedish, like old money aesthetic brands, I guess. And I don't know, it's just like really well 
all made. It's an all wool kind of like pea coat. It had this like cute little like ladybug type thingy on it, which I thought was so cute. It also had this like H for Hitematics, which is obviously the brand. And I found this for 259 crowns at Mirona. But I think this was such a great find. I mean, a classic navy blue wool coat. I feel like you can never go wrong with. It's just one of those things that I'm sure I'll get a lot of wear out of. And yeah, I'm just so happy I found it for like 25 euros. I think that's such a steal for such a classic and timeless piece. So those were all of the clothing items that I've added to my wardrobe. Now let's talk about two accessories and then we're done. Drum roll, please. I mean, I'm sure we're not gonna be surprised because these things are basically my signature at this point. Is that weird to say that this is my signature? I mean, people have said that in my real life. So I feel like I'm validated enough in that statement to say it on the internet. But essentially, I've added two click H bracelets. How fun. <laughs> I think you've seen both in videos already, but I thought I would just include them in this little video. Obviously, they came with boxes. I bought them on Vestir Collective, actually. Obviously, for me, this is also kind of a proven type of item in my wardrobe. I know I wear these things on a daily basis. I love having more flexibility on which colors to pair. I've always wanted a blue click H bracelet and I've always wanted an orange one as well. The story was basically that I was browsing orange ones for my mom and she needs a GM. She said that she wanted an orange one with silver hardware. So I was browsing orange click H bracelets with silver hardware, trying to find a size GM. But what I found was a size PM in great condition with a box, with everything. And I was just like, well, it's 300 euros. This deal is too good to pass up and not get this orange click H bracelet because it's so classic, so timeless, so like on brand for the actual Hermes brand as well. The blue one I was browsing for myself, I've wanted a blue click H bracelet for forever basically. And I found this one, I was obsessed with it. So I bought them both. And essentially they were 300 euros each. I thought these were such a good deal, such classic timeless color. So I couldn't pass them up. So I added two new click H bracelets to my collection. And guys, that's it. Those are the items that I've added to my closet recently. Are you a fan? Do you think I made some good deals? Which items do you predict I'll wear the most? I would love to know. Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Are you looking for any particular items right now? What are you trying to thrift? I would love to know so many questions, not enough time to talk about them, but let's have a chat about it in the comments. And if you're not sick of my face already, I'll link two videos right here which YouTube thinks you would enjoy. And until my next video, stay safe, take care, and see you soon. Bye!